Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kelly Ray, and if you're returning, welcome back. We love to see you. Um, we're here today with my husband, Kyle, and we want to share with you guys a little bit of an update. Yeah, hey guys, how you been? We got a big story for you, a lot of changes. <laughs> yeah, there's been so much going on. If you guys are interested in hearing that, stay tuned. You guys, the big news that we wanted to share with you is that we moved to LA. <laughs> so we kind of wanted to tell you guys some expectations that we kind of thought about before moving to LA and kind of like what we just heard and some things that, I don't know, we were kind of nervous about. I thought that there was going to be like a lot of homeless people and like really rude people. Yeah, and I don't know, my big thing was the violence. Like I didn't know like if it was going to be... Um, like not a safe place to bring our kids. Kyle's dad actually helped us look at the, like crime, the crime rates reports, around yeah. our like area and around our neighborhood. And they seem to be pretty good over the past few months. There wasn't too much violence. Mm -hmm. And we were like, you know what? We feel pretty good about that. Also, yeah. we're like pretty close to some family like parks and mm -hmm. things like that to do with our family. And we are in a smaller like suburb of LA. And so we are around more families and more people with, um, with children, I guess. Yeah, like family. <laughs> so, <family. laughs> so like when, before we moved, I was really excited. My expectations were pretty high and then some crap started to happen. <laughs> yeah, like in one day we had the huge hurricane that came through, which honestly wasn't that bad. Like it was our first hurricane. And so I guess what we had expected, it ended up just like raining the whole day for us. Um, so we got very, yeah. very lucky, very blessed on that. But yeah, but then in the same day too, like during the hurricane, our first earthquake that we felt and yeah. it felt like a roller coaster. Like we all looked at each other and we were like, what was that? It's nothing oriented. fell off the walls. Nothing yeah. was too crazy. I was I was uh, honestly so grateful that nothing that mm. traumatic did yeah. happen. Um, but then after that, and then the next day, the next day, <laughs> um, we actually had a shooting that we could really see close from, to our apartment. Yeah. It was really scary, and there was a ton of cops all over the place mm. the whole day long. Yeah, yeah. I came home from my lunch break, and we could just like peer out the window, see the cops. We're like, oh yeah. my goodness. This and is then like... and then we heard on the news some crazy stuff that happened like mm. honestly it was absolutely insane yeah like yeah, but I... another thing too is like just the police response you know how quick they were to act and contain the area they shut off that whole area yeah uh, just the other day we were walking over in that little shopping district and like the cops came and grabbed somebody because they were so i guess that wild. doesn't um Take away my fear of violent crimes happening near us yeah. because it like, literally oh, happened. Not violent crime. And exactly. Then a shooting, like, it literally happened a right away. after we moved. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, there is violent crime here. Um, some of the time, we just have to be cautious. It is mm -hmm. kind of scary, honestly, to think about moving a young family here, and then we have to kind of mm -hmm. like deal with stuff like that. But overall, I feel like the communities here are really great, and yeah. I think that's kind of like the big thing I wanted to touch on too is like from the very first day the first people that I met were like I have a I have some employees that I work with and like I'm the supervisor and I have like a little team and so my team actually happened to be on site that day and they came over and they wanted to meet me and they helped me move in and they were just so polite and friendly and helpful and like generous and yeah um, we've become really good friends with a lot of these people that we've met and yeah. that's I think that's been honestly the I'd say the biggest thing for me is the people here have impressed me so much like they're just mm -hmm. there's so many amazing people kind people that are willing to just open up and share and help the type of people that I've met, you know, just being at the park and getting like people's numbers that have kids just like the, around yeah. the same age as me and, and doing They're play so friendly, dates. Yeah. yeah, like I just had so many friendly people come up to me and interact with me and They're like, how old are your kids? What are their yeah, names? It's They're like, always asking about our kids. Yeah, I feel kind of like, oh well, like I need to be more outgoing because there's just so many friendly, nice people here. And there is. So shout out to all the amazing LA people. 
like who have, you like, have really, really helped embraced us. The, yeah, we yeah love like it. fit in here. Yeah. There is one situation I will say that driving, that's when you encounter some of those rude LA people that you hear about. Just because some of them probably aren't from LA and they're just maybe they're, yeah maybe they just don't know okay, what to yeah, do maybe they're not LA people <laughs> they're just yeah they're just all over the place in your way but then then again you start driving through the neighborhoods people are waving at each other in their cars yeah you know you come to a stop they want to wave you through and be nice yeah you know, so yeah there's been good drivers and maybe bad it's just drivers, tourist yeah but I think that that's every anywhere you go yeah. everywhere you go then I would say like the weather has been absolutely incredible here aside yeah. from the fact of the hurricane and the earthquake that happened um after that yeah. and before that we've had just such great weather since yeah. we've been here beautiful like, weather even uh, clear uh, skies yeah so there was like the heat wave coming through it's been like you know hitting 95 98 and we're like it's pretty nice for us from Arizona. It's not 115. Yeah, it's and everyone's like, wow, you've come at our heat wave. And we're like, um, you don't know what heat is. <laughs> you don't even yeah. understand. It is more humid. So like that, it does add that layer to the heat. But yeah, it's, I've been enjoying the weather. I've been loving the weather. Yeah. And so. then, oh my God, the beaches, like the oh, nature is yeah. just amazing oh, here. And the hills, like it makes sense now, like Beverly Hills, Hollywood Hills, but for some reason that didn't really like register that hey it's Los Angeles has a lot of hills and mountains I had never even really been well I but maybe like once or twice so well we were literally in the car and I was like babe why do they call like Arizona <laughs> like Phoenix why do they call yeah. it the valley like it really doesn't make sense like it's all, all the flat hills are surrounding it and it's flat <laughs> and I'm like oh that yeah. makes sense it's been a nice surprise I'm loving the weather like it's cool in the evenings and in the early mornings it gets it gets warmer. a little warm yeah but still I, yeah. we love the heat so I don't love the heat I don't like the snow so I <laughs> love the heat <laughs> I think, you know, we've kind of been like visit or not visited. We've kind of lived in a few other places and we kind of liken LA to like a mashup of, mm. uh, what did you say? So we lived in Sausalito, which is by San Francisco. Yeah. And the hilliness, the like kind of culture is similar. And, but then you also get kind of that Florida, like tropical. So there's like, there's and some beaches. Areas, yeah, and beautiful beaches where you can go swimming. Yeah. We could not really swim. swim and, and Sausalito. Yeah, that no. was way too cold for me. It really was. But, like, yeah, you, you'll have, like, palm trees and then pine trees in L.A. Like, L.A. is, like, the perfect mashup, mashup between our two favorite places that we've lived. Yeah. So. And, you know, we haven't visited the national parks here or, you know, some of like mm. the more like um, hiking trails and things like mm. that. We really do want to get into that. But we hear so many great things. Mm. There's actually a trail really close to us, the Eaton mm. Trail that has like a waterfall. And I've heard so Ooh, many great yeah. things about that one. So we'll have to go on a family trip there mm. and bring you guys along. But yeah. we wanted to talk about too, like there's just so many family friendly things yeah. to do, even for free, like all the parks and yeah. just like you said, like hiking trails. There's, oh, the parks are absolutely amazing. Like the parks in Phoenix, none of them are really shaded. None of them are updated. Some of them are kind of, what is the color, tan? I don't know. They just were all tan, but these parks are like yeah. way like the, better. Yeah. Their theming is great. Yeah, like the whole like pirate theme and it's shaded like yeah. with trees and, and, and lush like yeah. background and like just yeah. picnic area, like so many picnic areas. That's why it reminds us of Florida mm. so much because when you go to a park in Florida, there's so many um, picnic areas yeah, and like uh, grills and stuff. Point, yeah, yeah. Like the splash pads and stuff. The splash I think pads, they have yeah. some splash pad parks here so we yeah. have to check that out we've also tried our hand at a few um amusement parks and mm. we did go to universal in a uh, it wasn't, it wasn't really we have a three-year-old and a one-year-old so it's not really meant for... really geared towards that yeah so I, that's kind of on us maybe if our kids were older it would have been a better experience but... should have done some more research yeah <laughs> i was like hey look there's a group pond for universal studios let's just go over there and yeah. it really wasn't that great because if you guys know of good places to check out in la please let Leave us them know down in, the in the comments. comments we'd love to make a video of us like exploring Those la places. and yeah. the things to do here especially family friendly for like under five would be perfect
yeah. We're still kind of learning a lot and exploring a lot, but we really wanted to, we've been kind of putting this video off and yeah. it was just, it just came to a point today where we're like, we just have to sit down and just make the video <laughs> and we We've missed. also just been, sorry, I didn't mean to go I was just going to say, we've been, I've missed the, like, I love reading the comments and like people are like saying nice things and like, you know, sharing their stories, like, yeah, that's been huge. on our, on our, our story videos, mm. those have been the most amazing videos that we've shot and yeah. was able to like see all yeah. of the wonderful comments about that video and yeah. what other people's experiences were like getting married yeah. young too. Uh, so we don't feel alone. Thank you yeah. guys so much for watching yeah, that video. And if you haven't seen it, go check those two videos out. But, um, yeah, so if you guys like seeing our faces, please subscribe, uh, like this video, leave a comment down below. If you guys would like us to make more videos and we'll see you guys in the next one. See Bye. You soon. Bye.